two. Hello, my name is Alyssa de Alba and I am in fourth grade. Hi, my name is Amor de Alba and I'm in second grade. For our symposium project, we are making edible water bottles. Did you know that in a year, about 50 billion water bottles are bought and even though recycling programs exist, about 80% still end up in landfills and a, a lot of these plastic waste ends up polluting our seas and oceans too. Also to manufacture the water bottles are costly too. Nearly 17 million barrels of oil are used in each year. So our question is if there is an edible container that holds water to help reduce waste and our time in weight washing dishes. What cup? After doing some research, we learned that three London students named Rodrigo Garcia Gonzalez, Guillaume Catch, and Pierre Passelier created an edible water bottle called Ojo in 2014. It's made out of two edible compounds, sodium alginate, which is seaweed, and calcium lactate. Together, they react and make a jelly-like coating around water. Sounds so cool. Let's make it. Now, to make the edible water bottle, you will need materials. Three bowls, large, medium, small. Water, blender, measuring cup, measuring spoon, slotted spoon, rounded spoon, sodium alginate, calcium lactate. In a small bowl, add one fourth of, of a teaspoon of sodium alginate to one cup of drinking water and mix with the blender. until completely dissolved. Let's sit at least 15 minutes or until all the air bubbles are gone for at least for in a small in a large bowl. In a large bowl, stir in one to one four teaspoons of calcium lactate into four cups of water until dissolved. In the medium bowl, add three cups of water set aside for rinse and bath of the water. With a rounded spoon, scoop. With a rounded spoon, scoop up the sodium alginate mixer and carefully drop the ball into the calcium lactate mixture. Gently stir the solution and using the slotted spoon carefully lift the ball and let it sit in the rinse bath water bowl to stop the spherification. Remove the ball from the water and eat. It's all completely edible now and enjoy. Voila, this spherification creates encapsulated water. You can squirt the water in your mouth and throw the membrane and throw the mem membrane away or you can eat the whole thing. It's all edible, an edible water bottle. It will not hurt you nor the environment. We had learned so much doing this STEM experiment. It is fun to make and cool to eat. So, so eat your water, my friends. Oh, ho!